Holy Spirit. The reason that that cannot be forgiven is because God will never go against your free will. He will respect your decision if it's for or against Him. I'll give you an example in the Bible. Does the Bible say that God hardened Pharaoh's heart? That he would not let the Israelites go? Does the Bible say that? Well, if the Bible says that God hardened Pharaoh's heart, let me ask you a question. Does God ever, ever go against your free will? Yes or no? no? He does not. So how can you justify the Bible saying God hardened Pharaoh's heart? He withdrew the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Do you understand what he just said? God enabled Pharaoh to believe and to act in accordance with what he already believed anyway. The reason that this is important is because according to the Bible, this is going to happen at the end. His spirit will be lifted. And the only thing will be left is what's in your heart. There will be no more change in your mind. There will be no more, oh, I repent. There won't be any more of that. Whatever is in your heart is what you're going to speak. And you will speak for or against God. And we need at this moment to be prepared. Amen. Because it will not be long from now. The persecution will be enormous. It will be worse than anything that's ever been happened on the face of this earth, according to the Bible. There is nothing to compare it with. Some of us have a problem confessing our faith in the world we live in now. Imagine doing it when the Spirit is living. <laughs> in order to be prepared, we need to yield to the Holy Spirit right now. It needs to become active in you right now. When you leave here today, you need to leave here knowing that you have a spirit inside you that's active, that's working, that's communicating with you, that's guiding you. See, the 23rd Psalm says that he'll put a table before you in the presence of your enemies. What is on the table? Every weapon on the table is in the Word of God. But if you don't know it, can you use it? No. So my appeal today is for the Holy Spirit to be active in you. For it to guide you. For it to reveal the truth to you. This is when the Bible says the truth sets you free. What are you free from? Does anybody know? What are you free from? You're free from condemnation. From what you've done yesterday. And the question is, well, how often should we cleanse ourselves? How often do you sin? It should be daily. Paul says, I die to self daily. That means daily we should be recommitting ourselves through the power of the Holy Spirit to the will of God for our lives. Daily. Sometimes we should be doing it more than daily. There are times where I pray all day. Everything I do is would be in the spirit of prayer. I should do that more often. Because when things come at you, sometimes you need to just need to pray. The right words don't come to mind at all correctly. I need to pray. And let the Holy Spirit guide me. Then the right words come out. Sometimes my wife helps me with that. She says, oh, don't you think we're supposed to be praying? Yeah, but she doing what she did. You gotta pray. When we're in church. We should be praying for each other. We should be helping each other. We should be guiding each other. Don't tell me nobody in here has a burden that needs prayer. In fact, who does not need prayer? I'd like to meet somebody. This is what we should be doing to each other. And I'm telling you, if we do this, if we do it, then we will love each other more in death. See, agape is... is it's a powerful word. Agape love that God has for us means that you couldn't lose it no matter what you did. You could not lose that love that God has for you. We should have that same love for each other. 
that no matter what your neighbor did to you, no matter what your brother and sister did to you, you would still love them. I'm not saying you'd put up with them. I said you would love them. Because God does not cast favor on those that are disobedient to him. Now what I want to do before we leave is I'm going to say a special prayer. I'm going to invite the Holy Spirit to come into this church inside of all of us. My prayer is that it become active in each of us. That we are no longer stagnant in the church. We are no longer not forthright. That we are no longer still. It is time to move. The Bible says there's a time to be silent and there's a time to speak. There's seed time and there's harvest time. What well, a time that we live in now is harvest time. Every person in the church can fulfill the will of God for this church. We are mandated by Matthew chapter 28. By the Great Commission. If you believe in the words of Jesuit spoke, if you believe that you can become active and do something to fulfill the gospel, would you please stand? Now, if you would with me, I want to say a special prayer. And I want each of you to think about your walk with Christ. About allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal to you those things which you do not know. His will for your life. What is it that God has mandated for me to do? I want you to think about that when we pray. Shall we pray? Father, our Creator, our Redeemer, and our Sustainer. We come right now, Father, asking for your grace, asking for your mercy that is fresh and new every morning. Lord, you said in your word, if I lift up my eyes to the hills from which come up my help, my help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Eternal God, our Father, we are coming to you with a request that we shall make known mightily. That you ascend right now on each and every person in the sound of this voice. That you fulfill your wish, your promise for each and every one of us. That you reveal your will for our lives. Lord, we're asking you to Reveal the will for this church. What is it that we are to do to enhance this community? To impact this entire world? What is our goal? We hereby consecrate ourselves to your will. And we ask you to reveal it to us that we may go forth abundantly as you have us and see fit. Lord, let these words go beyond our voices, beyond the walls. Let them be received in heaven rejoiceful, that they may be done in your will. In Jesus' name I pray. And we give thanks for this day. Amen. Amen. The closing song today is 5.18.